Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 4, where we last left off. We actually finished the main campaign. We finished our challenge. Now, let's continue, shall we? Let's go to extras. We're going to go for separate ways first, because why the hell not? Let's actually have some fun. Uh, we're going to go start game. And let's see just exactly what Ada was doing. I've taken on this mission is to get closer to my own objective. No matter what happens, I can't let anyone figure that out. Of course, hiding in the shadows isn't my style. I'll have to reveal myself to him and offer advice once in a while. She, of course, is talking about Leon. I see you've managed to arrive at the village on time. Yes, but nobody remembered to roll out my red carpet. The villagers there are all being controlled. They automatically attack any intruders. Ring the church bell. That should quiet them down for a while. <laughs> Sounds like they're good, obedient boys and girls. Unfortunately, time is not a luxury we have. Gather as much information as you can about the parasites and finish off this little tour. Yes, looks like it's time to save Leon. Yeah, I like uh, Simon Ada quite a bit. Uh, it's set into five different chapters. Each chapter has an objective. This bit's a little bit interesting. I don't know if you can actually kill all the enemies in this village. They seem to just keep coming. Now, you can actually farm these guys quite a lot. But, yeah, we might do a little bit of farming. But money isn't really an issue in Assignment Ada. Because there isn't, like, a huge amount of stuff to actually buy. I think they really tried hard to make Ada really cool and badass. And they somewhat exceed, uh, succeeded. But um, there are a few moments that do come off a little bit cringe. You can see where they started to go full into the action horror genre instead of just the straight up um survival horror and you know I, I i like the action horror i do i'm not gonna say i don't ada's got a whole load of new moves which we like and uh she of course has a knife as well she's actually got quite a rubbish knife i mean it does exactly the same um damage it just looks small and puny unfortunately in fact that lady there maria she actually has a more intimidating looking knife, to be honest. But hey, whatever. We're going to fully explore this area. Because we can indeed level up Ada. Just like we can level up, uh, or should I say, upgrade her health. Like we can upgrade Leon's. There is treasure as well. There's uh, a few treasures on each map. We are going to try and get all of them. Um, I might, yeah, I'm probably going to buy the treasure maps. You don't need to. Things are escalating in the village. Oh, no, yeah, chainsaw guy. You don't have to worry about the chainsaw guy because uh, he's not actually after us. He's after Leon, which is fine. It's just the standard Granados that are after us. Now, this is what we start off with. Ada's shotgun, which apparently you can get. If you play, uh, uh, apparently, um, one of you guys, Chris, I believe, and, uh, um, oh, hello, Chris and 
Reva have both sent me a video about um, 50 things you don't know about Resident Evil 4, and I haven't watched it yet, which I do intend on watching that tomorrow. Um, anyway, let's explore this little area, shall we? Yeah, so apparently you can get the shotgun. Now, one thing to know, the weapons that we actually have here as Ada are significantly more powerful than what Leon has. That was important. Glad we managed to uh, stun him there because Ada takes way, way more damage than Leon. Um, at least it feels that way. She's uh, not as resilient, which, you know, I guess kind of is in theme with Resident Evil. The female characters. Right, we can actually leave now by getting that. Yeah, thanks, game. I, 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 I get it. I, I get it, game. Game, thank you. Don't know why that went on for so long. Right. You really want to keep their long-range weapons away from you. Ammo isn't really an issue in assignment, Ada. You can farm it pretty well. And you don't really have to worry about headbursters that much either, which is nice. Now, you can really farm money up here. There's Leon running around. He will eventually just get himself holed up. Um, in one of the buildings there. But there is some goodies around here that we do want to find. You can see the handgun that we have is so much better than Leon's basic handgun. Again, you can see it went for the kick attack there. It didn't work. Really annoying. Anyway, let's start exploring this village. There's plenty to find. Not sure how RNG this stuff is. But I guess we're going to find out. Oh, hi. Looks like the whole village is here. Evening, gents. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Lovely. Yeah, you can really kick an arsehole too, as Ada. And this is, I think this is what I found so exhilarating after playing with Ada so much. Uh, after playing the main campaign so much. So when you switch over to Ada on separate ways, my god, you actually have weapons that do damage. It's crazy. Now, one of the reasons for that is you can't actually upgrade your weapons in Assignment Ada. You can buy new ones, and you need to buy new ones for certain situations, but you can't upgrade them. On the flip side, the weapons already come as standard, semi-upgraded, so there is that. Right. Oh, hey. Maria, there's quite enough of that. Now, I don't think the enemies are unlimited here. Because they never really seem to be unlimited in Resident Evil. but Or Resident Evil 4, I should say. But I'm not sure. Oh, hey, guys. Whoa, that's going to hurt. You can see how much more damage we take. Oh god, where are we getting hit from? That's not good. That's not... Nope. That's not good at all. And yes, we can upgrade our bag as well. I'm guessing we're being hit from behind. Yeah, we are. Fuck out of here, Maria. But we're going to kill as many people as we can. Just because. It's where we get our money, yo. Alright. And they're already doing some damage. To our... Right, we can hook you up there, which we do need to do to get the key. But all in good time. Actually, we'll buy ourselves a little bit of time. By pushing this in the way. 
I don't really need to do this, but... Oh, hi. Actually beat us to it. Little bastard. See that? You snaky git. Come on. There we go. Right, they're all at the door now. Dude, come on. Thank you. Now, I can't remember how long that actually takes or how long that holds for. Me. Oh, there's lots of chicken eggs here as well, which, you know, is good. It's a good source of um, income. There's the first treasure. Shotgun shells. Yeah. You'll be forgiven for getting a little bit intimidated. There we go. By hearing that chainsaw guy. We also have bosses to fight. But they're not really a challenge. To be honest. I don't think there's any difficulty modes either in a Simon Ada. I think it just it is what it is. Load up all of our weapons. Take this opportunity. You can see we're actually like profiting when it comes to ammo as well. <clears throat> Alright, jump down. Yeah, we're actually uh, getting more ammo than we're using. Quite significantly so, actually. Which is nice. I would like to actually try one day to see if we can kill every enemy in here. In this area. I, ooh, dear. I'm going to assume that we can. But, like I say, I'm not sure. See how many there is, though. They're just thick as thieves. There we go. Love it when they all do the same animation at once. No ragdoll physics here, yo. Anywho, let's head up Says, what have we got up here? We've got some handgun bullets. We've got some more money. We've got some shells. I think there's some stuff out here too. I know there's a gem. There's definitely a gem over this side. Just like there was in the original. Or the campaign, I should say. The main game. And we got a few little bits and pieces up and around here. Some more shotgun shells. Now the game doesn't continuously give you this much ammo. It does seem to tail off uh, a bit as the game goes on. Not much. But it definitely doesn't stay as generous as this all the way through. Also, it does seem like the enemies have stopped coming to a degree. I can still hear one or two. But maybe we actually have killed them all. Yeah, you can't actually... Oh! Right. Apparently you can kill the ones that are attacking Leon, which... Oh, that's gonna hurt. I didn't know about. Anywho. That's just about enough. Come on, dude. There we go. Let's go load up. Another incendiary grenade. How much money have we actually got ourselves? Eh, got ourselves a bit of money, you know. Yeah, uh, let's just go kill these guys for prosperity. See if we can profit some more bullets. He's given us nothing. And he's given us nothing either. Stingy bastards. Oh well, that's the way it goes sometimes. Right, let's get out of here. Yeah, straight away, just like... Ooh. That was interesting. Are they the only two left chasing Leon? 
Nope. There's more. Oh, they're behind us too. Okay, yeah. That's what I mean. I'm pretty sure they just keep coming. Take some more hang on bullets. But it's just... It's so addictive to keep killing them when we have decent weapons. See that? That's the fun of the game. Ah, oh, sorry, Maria. Your time has come. Oh, I thought that cow was another enemy then. Really? You're a pretty strong woman. I'll give you that. Right, that'll do. 15 more bullets. We must have almost killed them. If there is a hard limit, that is, anyway. But just see how much ammo we've actually got out of that. We've still got 20 shotgun shells. Uh, you know, we've got loads of grenades. We've got health. We've got, you know, nearly a, oh, well, over 100 bullets at this point. Uh, maybe we did kill them all. Ah, cool. I did wonder. Anywho, let's keep going. Hey, dude. How you doing? You all good? That's wonderful. Glad to hear it. Uh, oh, God. Forgot about the snake. God damn it. There's always a snake in that one. There's a snake in my boots. That's fine. Son of a bitch. Let's just use the chicken egg. Sure. We might find some golden chicken eggs as well, in which case we'll sell them. Because Welcome. might as well. Got a selection of good things on sale. Ah, uh, he's yeah. I forgot to mention that he's basically saying that he's not set up properly yet because he hasn't put his blue lamps out. Bless him. So, what are you selling? He is gonna allow us to sell treasure though, because he's a good man. <laughs> Thank you. Chicken eggs. We'll keep those because they just what you slightly buying? increase your health. Um, now, I'd like that. We're going to get the treasure map, because why not? Uh, right, okay. First aid spray. We can get another first aid spray, sure. Always buy the first aid sprays when available. Because why not, yo? First aid sprays make the world go round, or something. Either that, or they line umbrellas, pockets, one of the two. Look how... Wrapped we are. Uh, we also got some unique and interesting weapons in this mode too. Some, well, a unique weapon, I believe, anyway. Right, there you go, dude. Now we can actually check for treasure. It does seem like a small price to pay to know where all the treasure is. Now, I don't know where all of the yellow herbs are. I don't know whether there's enough yellow herbs in this game to actually... Yeah, man. I don't know if there's enough yellow herbs in this game to actually max our health out in one run. Not sure. I'd say there probably is. But that would require a lot of yellow herbs. Like, a lot. Because I found a whole bunch of them. And I didn't come anywhere close to maxing out our health. So there's another gem. Lovely. We should have it. I think that's all that's there. We really need the bigger bag. Obviously the merchant should be here. But he's uh, buggered off for now. Oh no! I think some enemies come from behind too. Yeah, they do. That's fine. Come to mama. Come on. Come on. It'd be pretty terrible if you set yourself on fire, wouldn't it now? There we go. All that fuss over nothing. Now, let's get out of here. Go back to the graveyard. Hey, love. 
Now, there isn't um, unlimited enemies from now on, so we don't have to worry about that. But there's a few. Oh, we do we have a flash? We do have a flash. Always like to have a flash grenade. Because whenever we see burbs, flash them and kill the lot. Brrr. And of course, we can use the uh, we can use the knife a little bit, but yeah. Bitch. Oh, that was some skills there. That was some straight, straight skills. Or you know, maybe that was just being lucky. Probably luck. It's always luck. Oh, hey, dude. Nope. You're fucked. So are you. Now we need to finish these guys off quick because my stuff is disappearing. Ooh. What was that about? Come on, get it. Oof. Stuff from the birds is disappearing. Yeah, the stuff from the birds has disappeared. Stuff disappears in this game way too quick, if you ask me. But, you know. It's not the end of the world. Personally, I don't know why these pickups disappear at all, but I don't make the game. Nothing. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Come on, Ada. Let's go spread some more chaos, shall we? I'll have that. Nice. Now let's keep pressing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I think of your nonsense, sir. Ow. You're going to die by knife. Just because I don't like you. Never want to be on Ada's shit list. Let's just say that much. Right. Now, we do have to do the same puzzle that we did uh, as Leon, but we need another item before we can do it. And that item is down here. You know, injured as well, which is annoying. Uh, Ada moves quicker. Shut up, love. Ada moves a lot quicker. Whoa. Than Leon as well, which is also interesting. She runs way faster, Snake. But like I say, as the uh, counter to that, she takes way more damage from attacks. I think it's like 40% more damage or something like that. There is a calculation for it, but. Now, this is the first, quote, boss. Not really much of a boss. As you can see. She only gives us 3,000 as well. But that green cat's eye. Something is holding the door firmly. Yeah, the green cat's eye. Very nice item. Worth a lot of money. But we're not allowed to sell it. We need it for something else. Gee, what do we need it for? Well, child, sit and watch. I shall enlighten you. Yeah, we actually need the green gem for this. Which is kind of interesting because... Um, we could surely just, you know... Use our hook shot to get out of here. But hey, what do I know? Uh, 
There we go. Right, we shall have that. And here come the locals. Locals are always so angry. Why? It's not the greatest tourist attraction, to be honest. You'd have thought they'd be happy to have someone stimulating the economy. But, you know, maybe not. You dead? You dead. Alright, all that noise and fuss over nothing. Okay, so. Let's put the cat side back in. Lovely. And get the F out of here. Yes, there's more locals. What's in the bag? Quite a lot, actually. I'm not going to be selling any weapons and ammo because we're probably going to end up with all the guns. Just because. Right. There's a few of them, isn't there? Damn. Might want to get the old, uh, old painless out. There we go. I should soften them up just a little bit. Admittedly, not necessarily the most pay, uh, powerful weapon in the game, but, you know, it does its job. At least we've got the old head popper here. Sorry, Maria. But that's not really going to help you, to be honest. Right, another 15 pack of ammo. Not too shabby. Stick you in there. Yeah, this area is a little bit full of enemies, but that's the way we like it. Now, I think that's actually the last... Pretty sure that's the last... gem on this chapter. Oh, dear. Yeah, I don't think so, mate. Can you stop trying to throw your hatchet at me? I appreciate you have an unlimited number of them on your back. But not the point now, is it? Honestly. Bloody ungrateful bastards. Right, let's get out of here. Yeah, remember this puzzle? I like this puzzle. Come on. Oi, enough of that. Honestly. Oh, hello. Running on empty. There we go. Good enough. Plenty of ammo. For now. Oh, look at that. Two boxes with nothing in there. God damn it. Right. So we can actually hear whimpering. The door won't open. It's locked. I can hear somebody whimpering on the other side. Well, it's not you, is it? Ada, you're too hardcore for that sort of nonsense. So, here we go. I do like this puzzle. Right, let's fiddle with red first. That's the one we need for red. Green. Um, this has got to really suck if you are colorblind. I seriously sympathize if you're colorblind. Puzzles like this... Uh, Really shitty. Uh, that should do it. And mission one done, son. Oh, la campana. Es hora de rezar. Tenemos que irnos. 
So Ada saved Leon all along. everyone going bingo <laughs> something like that Leon something like that and there we go end of chapter 86% accuracy happy with that enemies killed 83 happy with that that's a lot here's what I know so far Osmond Sadler's cult is known as Los Illuminados. They resurrected some sort of parasitic organism they call Las Plagas. That's all my organization knows for sure. Though Sadler's occult activities seem worthy of investigation. The Salazar family, Castellans for generations, possessed the ability to control Las Plagas. The organization's hypothesis is that a unique frequency of sonic wave sensed only by the parasites is used to control them the same principle used in dog whistles this was inferred through the analysis of a tissue sample we retrieved the tissue contained an organ presumably used for sensing sound waves i've seen cult members carrying ceremonial rods and i wonder if they emit these sounds of course this is purely theoretical the organization needs samples of the parasite to confirm or disprove these theories. That is the main objective of my mission, and the only way to prove my loyalty to the organization. The opening moves in this chess game have been played. There's no turning back now. And that text literally is just the transcript of what she just said. So, that was report one, and we're going to save it. The chapter one done in exactly 30 minutes, apparently, or close to. So, thank you very much, guys. And when we come back, well, it's on to chapter two. Chapter two is actually probably the longest chapter. Um, the chapters aren't very well spaced out <laughs> like this one was fairly short you could certainly do it a lot shorter than i did it um you know by running past a lot of the enemies and that stuff if that's your bag then fair enough um this next one is oof, might have to be two parts we'll see how we go so till then guys thanks for watching